What's the difference between the period and wavelength of a wave? This is crucial that you know. Before we delve into the differences between these two variables, it's important to point out that both period and wavelength both represent a wave cycle, a cycle of a wave. But what exactly is a cycle such that it can be described or represented by multiple variables at once? Cycle is a generalized term for a wave, which is a single unit of a wave repeating itself. Period is the amount of time it takes for a wave to repeat itself, whereas wavelength is the horizontal distance or length required for this wave repetition. This tells us something crucial. A wave, and consequently light when we model it as a wave, is bound by both space and time. Our model here illustrates this, in which we map how one point along the wave oscillates up and down, measured vertical displacement on the y-axis, against the distance progress of the wave, which is the x-axis. We can take any one of these snapshots in the left column and map out a full period later. We can see that it takes exactly four seconds every time to complete a full cycle. Four seconds for a point of interest to start and stop in the same place and in the same direction. Also, in this exact amount of time, the wave has traveled forward a distance precisely equal to the wavelength. Therefore, period and wavelength are completely congruent. For this reason, from a graphical standpoint, period and wavelength are trigonometrically identical. Here, we can see that they have identical definitions on the graph, where it's the length between any two consecutive points with equal height and equal slope. Still, there are blatant differences between the graphs we use to measure these different variables. For example, our period graph is measured against time, whereas our wavelength graph is measured via distance. While the wavelength graph measures the overall horizontal propagation, the forward progress of the entire length of the wave, period is mapped on a graph tracking the vertical motion of a single point along the wave over time. As a reminder, these graphs are progressing simultaneously, although these points although these particular points that you can see here may not be 100% in sync. So did you learn the following? One, wavelength and period are variables of a wave, which both describe a cycle or a single repetition of a wave. Two, a wave is bound by time and space simultaneously, and that explains our multivariable definition of a cycle. Three, period and wavelength are identical trigonometrically, and both the features of their graphs help differentiate between them in regards to what is precisely being measured and how.